In question number 6 of this third exercise, we'll have to verify the Euler's formula for each of these solids. Now we all know that Euler's formula for any polyhedron is given by this equation which is F plus V minus E is equal to 2 where F stands for the number of faces in the solid, V stands for the number of vertices in the solid and E stands for the number of edges in the solid. So we'll have to verify this equation for each of the two given solids in the question. Let us consider the first solid of the question where we see that the top and the base of this solid are pentagon in shape. If they are pentagon, we can state that the number of faces for this solid would be 7. As we observe the top would be 1, the bottom or the base would be 1. And since this is a pentagon, we'll have 5 faces at this lateral part. So a total of 7 faces would be there in this solid. Then moving on, the vertices as we can see here would be 10 as 5 at the top and 5 at the bottom as we have two pentagons, one at the top and one at the bottom and the number of edges in this figure or this solid would be 15, 5 for the pentagon at the top, 5 for the pentagon at the bottom and 5 at the lateral part of this figure. So if we consider the left hand side of the Euler's equation and if we substitute these values let us see what are we going to get. So the left hand side of the Euler's equation is f plus v minus e and if we just substitute the values here the ones which we have got so we have 7 plus 10 minus 15 and if we solve this we'll be getting 2 which is the right hand side of the Euler's equation or the Euler's formula. Hence we can say that for the first part we have already verified the Euler's formula because the left hand side and the right hand side are equal as per the Euler's formula. Let us now move on to the second part or the second solid and if we observe the solid we see that there is a square faced pyramid on top of a cuboid. So based on this observation, if we write the number of faces as we see that there are three faces on top and for the cuboid there are six faces. So we can say that the number of faces for this would be nine. Also the number of vertices as we see here are again nine. Four the number of vertices would be 4 here, 4 here and 1 at the top which would make the number of vertices to be 9. Moving on to the number of edges which are 16 in this case. So 12 edges would be contributed by the cuboid and the 4 other 4 would be contributed by the top surface which is formed by the triangle. Hence let us take now the left hand side of the Euler's formula which is f plus v minus e and let us substitute these values to verify the Euler's formula and if we do that we get here 9 plus 9 minus 16 which will give us again a 2. Hence we can say that we have verified Euler's formula for the second solid as well because we are getting 2 on the right hand side which verifies the Euler's formula and this is how we are going to answer the sixth question of this exercise. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.